let's check it out. This is uh, Creality's new Ferret 3D scanner. And uh, I got it. Today's April 22nd. On my birthday, I ordered it for myself. <laughs> but uh, it came before Creality's website even said it would come. The 4th of May is when it said it would come. So this came in. I'm very excited to try it out. Right now it's about 350 bucks US. Um, but it could make you a lot of money depending on how easy it works. I'm not going to show too much of it because somebody will probably steal me barcode or something. Who knows. Not going to show much of the box, I mean. Nice box. It's not made for a shelf, to be on a shelf and say, hey, buy me. Oh, it comes in a box just like the Creal or the, uh, my DJI, uh, DJI drone. Perfect. Nice case. It'll protect it, but it isn't perfect. If a semi runs over it, it's a goner. A little wrist strap to put your hand through and get your hand stuck in there no lock to lock it which somebody will just steal the whole device instead of taking it out got the manual I'm gonna take the manual and go across if you guys are wanting to read this Pause it, screenshot it, and then look at your screenshots. It looks like it, at the time it is not supporting Mac computers or um, Apple phones. I don't know why they wouldn't release this. Um, if you see right here, even on the website, it didn't show anything about Apple. But uh, they already have a product out that's a lot more money. I don't know why they wouldn't have just used the software off of it and slowly changed it into something. Nice mount. Just gonna play with it a little bit. What does that do? Guess we'll get to that in a bit. I've seen how that was in there and I didn't quite care for how it was in there. Oh well, we'll leave that out phone holder it's the same cheap one that you can buy anywhere it even feels like it they normally don't have this though definitely hold my phone I don't know where my phone's at I'll put that back in there and I did not know how this had a battery built into it 4500 milliamp battery that's pretty nice 5 volt 2 amp in and it puts out 2.5 amps so it's going to if you're charging it and using it at the same time it's going to die on you as you use it has USB-C and regular USB normal little camera mount at the top it must uh, automatically turn on when you plug something into it cords must be at the top we will get to the device last hey Google make it bright As always, a little piece of paper to prove that it's from them. Not like you could put that in something different. Oh, really long cord. What's this one? USB-C screws in like the old ports on monitors to USB 3.0 Type A. And this one's USB-C to USB-C angled. Oh, it's got two wires going into it. Let's open this one. This one's actually piqued my curiosity. It also comes with a wrench. Or a Allen wrench. So it's angled. It shows you one being plugged into this. One being plugged into the power. Oh, no. This goes to the device. This goes to power. So then what's that one? When you plug it into your computer? This must be just if you're running off of that. Very light. 
Actually, it's like the perfect weight. I don't mean it's light. I mean it is well weighed. It isn't going to blow away if you put it down on the tripod. Actually, it feels really firm. I was thinking about it last night if they're going to put one so you can hold it like this. So that way if your hand is out, if it would stay out of the way. There's the front. has a nice little tear off. I'm going to tear off on the using video. Software download code. Great jobs in an easy way. I thought this thing folded and covered its lenses. Because um, they show it flip it uh, sliding into your pocket and I really assumed like it folded up somehow um, definitely want like a cover over this if you're sliding in your pocket that is definitely this so the one that has the screw holes oh that's nice you can go upwards or downwards because there's only one screw and there's a screw both ways that's nice class a laser Let's see our scan basically it for it let's go ahead and plug it in see if it came with any juice in it I've never seen USB with a thing like that I think I just put it in upside down I think USB-C kind of stays in itself fits in there nice and firm I'm gonna slide this on there Slide it and screw it. I don't even screw in there. You have to use their adapter, really? That's great, I guess. So you'll just need an adapter to screw it down to the smaller. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I didn't quite understand that. And then this should make it so it tilts, right? And if you tighten that, it doesn't tilt. Okay, duh. I knew that's what it was, but I couldn't do it when it was off. Okay, let's see if it has any juice in it. Plug in this one first. It says it's fully charged, if you guys can see them lights. I may have too bright of a light on right now. see anything kicking on on it so we'll plug this one in or is that to plug into your phone yeah that's to plug into your phone what am I doing there and then that plugs into your phone but oh man this is a crazy mess okay so they want you to this in like this I guess it ain't too crazy and then your phone will plug into there I like that this will still rise even though that's on there and then this plugs right into the side and then you can set it down obviously I have the phone pointed the wrong way but your phone would plug right into there definitely built really well I don't know about 350 bucks because after taxes you're almost at 400 but uh we'll have to see see how well it scans stay okay since making that video where it was on my computer I ended up finding the app Creality got back with me it isn't an app if you guys watched uh, my review on the ferret through the computer um, it was awful it just turned out awful and on Creality's website there is windows 10 and 11 download and right next to it i thought that was for android computers because there is android computers out there that's actually the file you need to download onto your phone and then it then you extract it under your downloaded files and then it adds an app straight to your phone just like a normal app even puts it on your home screen so now I have the app just like everybody else does. I have a turntable and I have the devices that I originally did the video on. 
and I have the battery, which is up there right now, and the spray bottle, which was a little bit reflective, but I went ahead and used some dry shampoo, and I didn't get any different result on the computer scans. And uh, for the piece, the phone scans, though, I'll show you guys this. This is impressive, but I'm using the GoPro instead of a... Uh, instead of uh, run it through here because you plug your phone in and I think it would take my audio from there. And I really don't want to put too much more time into this. So right there it says perfect hold on. Perfect hold on. I'll just show you guys a little bit of stuff. Hold on. Okay. So right there's the app. Looks just like it's supposed to. You click on it after you install it. And then... You wouldn't normally see that. You see this screen, which hopefully you guys can see it good. I didn't have to make an account or nothing. These are previous things I've done. Here's a shoe that just turned out amazing. And I'm gonna go through one process because I'm gonna take a thousand photos of probably this, because I haven't done it yet. Because it does take a little bit longer on your phone than it would a computer. But um, the shoe, it didn't have the inside done. It didn't have half of the one side done. And I told it to fill in the mesh. And it did an amazing job whenever it decides to load. My phone does look orange. Sorry. Hold on. Let me shut that off. Just for you guys there. The eye comfort. I like my eye comfort thing on. There is a shoe. And it did amazing. And the shoe actually has that little weird colors right there. But it did not get the shoelaces, and somehow it did all right with the shoelaces. And then it did not get this whole part of the shoe right here, and it filled it in and even added the color, and I don't think it did too bad. Definitely did the curvature. And then somehow I didn't do the bottom of the shoe, and it just added whatever for the bottom. But I think it did really good on that shoe. Okay, let's go ahead and... Put something underneath here so I don't have to keep holding this. Okay. We're using a turntable, automated turntable. It says perfect hold on. Let's go ahead and start it. Down at the bottom left, it'll show you how many frames I'm pulling. Now it says it's out of distance. Perfect. We're going to make it turn as slow as I can possibly get it. There we go. It messed up, so I'm going to tell the turntable to turn back around. Let snap a few photos there. Let's just go ahead and go the opposite direction. I've already scanned this in once, and it did an awful job. But if you're comparing this to what it did on the computer, it's really getting it down. And I do not have spray on it, so it's just... Just want to sit there a little bit. I'm getting a lot of red down there, which means my color or my lighting is a bit messed up. Sorry for all the beeping. But I do like... I uh, know when it reads this. Why don't I like this side? I gotta pull it back a little bit. Come on, just take that picture and build that. See, I wanted to build that bottom part. Let's kick a light on and see if it makes a difference. Gonna let it go clear around to the front. There, it's got the front. Just does not like to get this side over here. 
There we go. Let build a little bit of it. There we go. It's got the whole thing now. If I just leave it on rotation for uh, a couple spins. Now, their software does not let you add multiple slices and then put it all together. Instead, they want to put them together for you. So you're supposed to push the pause button right here on the right side and then flip the object upright and then scan some more. And we're going to let it get to a thousand, thousand frames. Once we get to 700, we'll reverse it and go the opposite direction. I did have this on texture, so hopefully it's getting the detail of where the battery slides in. Um, I don't think it does very good on the slits. Okay, there we go. Let's turn it and make it go the other way. So much nicer having an automatic turntable. Let's let it go one more round, even if it does go over a thousand. Solid green right there. It's nice to see. Now I did not do the top. Let's see what it does. If it's just going to totally enclose that. And there we go. There's a full turn. That turned out really nice. Obviously I can move it around a little bit. And it should fill in them spots. Now I'm going to do this in real time. I'm not going to skip this video ahead or anything. I'm going to go ahead and take that device off and put on the bottle if you guys watch my video on the computer the bottle just turned out awful on the computer at least This is uh, processing on a Samsung Galaxy S25G, whatever that is to you. And it's not on battery saver mode or anything, so this is just how long it's going to take. But if you guys watch my video on how long the computer took to do, the computer is quick, but um, it couldn't even find this object. For some reason, the phone... And its software finds it no problem. Doesn't need some work. If you really want this battery to slide in.
I'm gonna fall asleep. So if you guys watched and haven't skipped past me talking right now, if you guys watched again the video of me doing the computer, I ended up scanning it and you know how there's a couple slots right there. I did a, a test on it and I printed, I 3D scanned this with the computer because it's about all it could find for some reason. And then I took the computer and I printed that and it actually lined up perfect with this. Ah, I must have hit meshing with my finger. Okay, so now it's going to mesh it all together and hopefully make it a solid. I'm sure it's got the shape right. Once it's done meshing, you can take that and put it in Avo Shaper or something like that. I don't know what it is. It's whatever the Pop Series scanners use. You can use their Studio, but it does not allow you to use their scanner app because you do not have their scanner but their studio works pretty good now the studio for creality it's only for the lizard system right now it does not support this so you can't even edit this much and then once you put it through that editor then you can take it and put it through tinkercad and add whatever you need to and then it can go to your cura or you can go straight from this and take it to cura it's an s well i may i told it to do an stl file on this so it's ready right after this but i'm sure this is not how you want it with this ring around here and i found it's easier to use a turntable and carpet around the turntable because it blacks out the turntable but then when you're post editing you can delete the carpet really easy because the carpet is way out there if you're just trying it on a piece of paper, the piece of paper is too small or your cardboard box is too small. Now we're going to try. Oh my gosh, now it added the box or it added the turntable. I don't know if you guys can see how uh, chunky crappy that is. But again, I only ran a thousand twenty eight frames eleven hundred and twenty eight frames did really good on the detail on the front it does indicate that it's a half shell case because there's two halves to the case so some of it's good some of it's bad spend more time on it what it do for the underneath it just made it totally solid so with some trimming you could probably get that close except the top was totally messed up okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move this on to our next device I hit scan you guys can't see it yet I'm gonna get all tallied in before I now I just want the top of this whoa 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 whoa, whoa. okay it's saying perfect hold on but the sensors are going Ape shit. Okay. Trying to get you guys all set up here. Sorry. You're on a tripod, but the tripod don't go this small. Can you guys see that far away? Okay. So it's saying perfect hold on. But that's red, so that means the lighting's wrong or something. But it says perfect, so let's see what it does. Now we had awful success with this on the computer.
first try. Let's see if it gets the back side. Nice. Did you guys see how easy it did it? Now on the computer, it would not do that. I'm going to pause it when it gets to the back because I don't think it got like the back hook area. Let's sit there for a little bit and take some right there. So I don't think it's getting the top part. It's only shooting down here, but that's all right. Let's see if I can spin that thing at full speed. Nope. And this will also help because we've already seen it build it. This should flip around and go on there. It just built two nozzles. Even though there's one. In most software, you could change this by yourself, but their software does not let you do it. You can click on manual, but on your phone, it's really weird. Let's get to a thousand frames again. We're at 750. It's showing that this part isn't green, so it should figure it out. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it right like that. See if it takes any more frames. Nope. I'm trying to get to that thousand. There we go. One thousand. One thousand thirteen. One thousand fourteen was the finale. I'm gonna move the bottle off of there now. There was no spray on this. And it's nearly see-through. It's kind of see-through. I guess to a laser or infrared it would be different. And at this point, if you wanted, you can actually unplug all this stuff. So far, I haven't really seen it charging my phone. No, it's not charging my phone at all. So I don't know what this, if it really, it's going down, so it must be doing something. So this thing must bypass the phone and just power this, and then your phone's on its own. Because my phone says nothing about charging. It's actually dropped a ton since making this video. I guess it is processing a lot. Let's go ahead and put this lower on the ground. Now we'll just sit and let that process. I'm gonna go charge up my table. My vacuum cleaner thought it was a good time to start cleaning the house every time I make a video if you guys watch my videos every single time I make a video my darn vacuum takes off and starts cleaning the house no
back in, it's supposed to make it into one nozzle, not two. We shall see. I'm also going to tell it to fill in all the meshing, all the gaps. I think it's doing it by itself. So over here we have mesh, fill-in, and I accidentally told it to do a PLA, PLY file, and it kept two halves. Hold down the center, and it never got the top. Even though it scanned the, f what's this? Even though it scanned directly on, it never put a tip on there. Nice change that. I like to keep an S hole filling and closure. It's supposed to close it all up so it's a solid object and it's going to fill in all the holes. Let's go ahead and let it do that, I guess. So, right now, this is a total air. Hopefully, it fixes it, but um, that would have been a problem. You would have had to rescan the whole object if it doesn't fix it because this app doesn't let you fix it. And it's all done. It's a solid object. See how it does have the details. Not too bad on the details there. But this is more of a learning curve. Yeah, hopefully that helps somebody out. And then you click done and it's on there. Then you can share it with whatever you want. I send mine to my computer through OneDrive. And then it's on there when I turn on my computer and I can have an STL file. Or whatever file I want. This is actually one I did without a turntable and it totally failed. <laughs> hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone. I am making a video on the ferret. If you can see the date at the bottom right, it's a, it's like down here. Where's my mouse? I'm very disappointed in this thing. I'm going to start off by saying it right now. You guys can skip around and see uh, the testing I'm going to do on it. Um, for one, at the time of making this, um, it's before May, and they say in May or something that it, um, Apple products will be supported. And... Um, yeah, right here. It's only Windows right now and only Android. They said later. And then here's the supported phones. This is actually the manual on Creality site. Um, thing is, if you take, it's called Creality Scan, wherever that's at, CR Scan or Creality Scan. I don't have, mine's an S20 phone, so I just missed it. But if you go under here, uh, CREAL scan app when you s search for an app on your computer it will show you the app without having to download it so it isn't even it isn't even released it isn't even out like there's no app and uh the pc version i did download it that is the icon right here it's it's, it's down here right now but right now there's no app that works with the phone and the apps that are on the phone that let you use it, um, because it's such a new device, I downloaded like 10 apps. All 10 apps uh, recognize it, but then just disconnect because they don't have the software out for it right now. So maybe by the time you guys are watching this, there will be something out there. 
um, to where you can download it and use it. So this setup right here is basically obsolete at the time of making this video. So I'm using the PC connection. And if you guys watched my unboxing video, I did plug in both cords to the power. It didn't do anything. It, uh, it knew not to do, not to double power it. Um, it does not charge your phone while you're using it. So this was cool because it says it does large, medium, small objects, body, face, all that. It didn't do too bad on my face. Um, I'll do my face again for you guys. But I was just showing you this is the manual. This is this is how the app's supposed to look, but there is no such app when I look it up at the time of making this video. Um, the Creality Cloud app doesn't even allow you to do anything. This thing does really good at scanning your face. That's about all I can say. And uh, this is a towel I did. And I let it sit there for five minutes scanning it. And it came out all right. Not great. For it not being a reflective device, I really expected better. I got It's on cardboard right now. That took about three minutes to process. Not too bad. Get off the color there. I can't really fix that object, so this would have not been a good print. So, here we go. This is all the app has to offer. Language, all that. It detects it right when it's plugged in. I could unplug it, but I really don't want to have any problems. Knows that it's the ferret. I click scan. And we are going to... I'm going to scan... What's good is you can see what I'm trying to scan in the device. Because it's... It has couple cameras on it hold on I'm trying to set something up for you guys okay so we are going to scan like a little battery but I'm gonna keep it on medium just so it doesn't fuck up as much I've tried all these settings there we got a battery right there so what you try to do with this app is adjust it to the perfect distance right here it says perfect but I ain't picking up anything on that watch as I get it closer it now it's too far even though it's right in front of it now it's too near so I've seen some other people say that they put more light on it. This top over here is my live feed. This is whatever the heck it's doing. Um, I have a light here. I'm going to put some natural light on it with no shadows. Uh, there, no shadows right there. It's not picking it up anymore, and it still says it's the perfect distance. Let's move it a little bit closer, see if it... Now it says it's too far, too near. Let's put it really far away. And crank it up like that. Now it's too far away. It always says that too. Too far. So let's put it right there. Where it says perfect again. Now i also seen somebody that with a Creality. Um, whatever that other one is. I think it's a lizard. They made it dark in the room. And it picked up a lot better. So there's, uh, there's pretty dark. And it's not picking it up any more than it was. I know there's some spray you can put on it or something. The spray looked expensive, and I'm sure the spray is different. Okay, so let's say that was a little bit reflective. Actually, let's leave that out. I was going to show you the tracking on it. So what it is picking up. Let's go ahead and put it in the frame. There is a bit of a shadow on there. Let's get that shadow off here. You guys see this setup I got going for, woo, for light. Okay, we just hit the device. That's great. <laughs> I love making live videos. Okay, so. No shadows? No shadows. Okay, so to start capturing this device that it hates, you click that. And then it's starting to see that green. I slowly start to spin it with my hand instead of a turntable, which is way more controllable. At least in this testing video. And it's already lost it. It thinks it's way over there now. So if I scan it, that's all it's got. Let's go ahead and go back to scanning it, but putting a different device there. I have put a GoPro there. I forget what I did with the GoPro. Too, too near. It's too near. It's just freaking out. Take that 
white piece of paper off there. I don't think the paper made a difference. I was trying to get like a total opposite background. So here is something that was very disappointing that it couldn't print because I was, or couldn't print, couldn't scan. There's something I really do need to scan. It's broken right there. And I glued it back and then I was like, I was going to 3D print this. But look at it, it's got ape shit. Let's shut the light off. It sees it. But now it thinks the that fan, that light's gonna fall again. I don't know what it's doing. I've never had it like freak out like that before. <laughs> um, move it to a new spot. Because I dropped it. I didn't drop it. I hit something here. Let's plug it back in. I've been working with this thing all day. Um, it was originally, I told it, don't ask me again, and now it pops up. Just shit. No, it's still doing the same thing. I'm going to put it over here. Um, get out an object that was kind of reflective, but this device, or this device, this object did some weird stuff. I tried to just do the top of it. It's too far away. Okay, whatever. Okay. So, it says it's perfect. Now, there's adjustments you can do over here. But this makes it, like, green. Okay, that one don't make it green. It's the next one down. That makes it bright. And then you hit there, and it goes to auto. This is the one that makes it green. Okay, it doesn't want to go green this time. Okay. It says it's perfectly distanced away. It is a ref kind of reflective and see-through. I don't like stuff like that. But, I forgot to put the paper under there. Paper is my spinning device. Watch as I turn it. It just thinks it's tracking it. There, I haven't even moved it yet. And it's already, look, it's moving it away. F the green is moving. I haven't even touched it. Now I'm going to slowly start to spin it and watch what it does. It lost it. So you got to move it back into focus. But now watch it. It just goes ape shit. I don't even know what that little prong is that's coming out of the top. And it won't register any more than that. Let's go the other way with it. I know you can put some type of spray on it. And now it just said I turned it clear around. I'm not moving it. It thinks it's being moved. Let's just complete it right there. That's that's what it got. <laughs> I know it can process it and make it better. Let's let's process this. One click. Oop, I guess I should show you guys this stuff. Optimize setting. It'll automatically do it or manual, and that's it. I'm gonna let it do that because that's a really small file. I'm gonna go ahead and get. That rag that you guys seen at the beginning, that's been my most successful thing. And you guys seen that at the beginning. That wasn't very successful. Um, and that printed for five minutes. I'm going to just randomly drop that towel like it had been before. Now, I haven't even um, tried the like calibration of how close it really thinks it is. I guess I could do it on this, this video, or this device. But then... I don't know of all the different softwares, but I'm kind of tired of having a hundred different softwares. I'd rather just have Tinkercad and Cura. And um, Tinkercad would not pull the file that it made from this software. And this is a software from Creality at the time of making this video. Just, this is real time, so this is how long it's taking to do this little of an object. This isn't even that three-dimensional of a file. Processing. We'll get the color right. Boom. Hey, it didn't do that bad. And then you can make it go 
like that, just blue. It's nice it got the texture of that. Doesn't really show up in the uh, the file. And then when you're done, you can either rescan or export. I'm going to export it and call it one two three or one two two, I guess. Let's go to here. Okay, whatever. Uh, this is Cura. I use Cura. You guys may use something different. This is my slicer. There's my one two two file. Let that sit there for a little bit. Let's go ahead and go to Tinkercad. And this last time I went to Tinkercad, it um, didn't even recognize the file was there. So I'm going to click on New. Actually, this right here was when I was trying to do it. It's been two hours since I figured out one more. Okay, choose a file. And it was under my pictures, and the file isn't there. Missing. So it does not support it. It does take a long time to bring it in. And this is not slicing it. So uh, we'll let that sit there while we go ahead and go back to the software. And there really isn't anything. Like this is their YouTube. This is their download for the manual. And that's their Facebook. And uh, there's not really any editing tools. Everything's blacked out. There's nothing under settings. So this is just a scanning tool. I'm sure there's better ones out there. So let's go ahead and scan this and then I'll scan my body or my body, my face. Um, no matter what I put these this stuff on, it all of it comes out to the same. So I'm not really gonna show you guys the different settings because I haven't got a different um, a different result. Okay, I'm definitely way too close. Let's let's punch this up. So now with this device or this scannable item this one ain't too bad scanning I don't know what these settings are scan quality mode but when I click on it I can actually move it around and the tracking does pretty good now again uh, when you guys when this video first started that was the same rag and it was scanned for five minutes well, I was moving too fast there. Trying to get that little... No, I can't see that spot. Going to spin the box. Let's just scan it to where we got it clear around. Come on, thing. Uh, we are on a pretty powerful computer. Um, we're running a 9.9, 32 gigs of RAM, and uh, 8 gigabyte graphics. So, whatever it's demanding. So when that happens, you're supposed to put it back where it was. I put it down and haven't moved it now. Okay, it's it's mad at me. It's not too delayed, but it definitely is delayed. The camera. And this is using their, there we go, Jesus. Using their cord directly into a 3.0 port, which they use, if you watch the unboxing, they use a type A instead of a type C. There we go. I just made it a little bit mad. I don't know who'd want to scan a rag. Well, everything I need scanned is actually black. So I'd need that spray, I guess. I've seen a video on that. I moved it down a little bit so I could... God dang it. It says perfect, but... down a bit low to get into the cracks I use this as a webcam too accidentally for the first little bit in discord and a lot of people didn't even know I was using a different camera 
So it does have a pretty good camera if you wanted to use it as a $300 webcam. Okay, we got some floating bits around that corner. We ended up getting the top. They don't have too many problems moving around like that. But again, five minutes. I had it going earlier and it still had a lot missing. Right. Okay, so we did a complete circle. Let's go ahead and save it. See how it got like the the wrinkles and everything. It's kind of cool. I get I guess it's a lot a lot for this scanner like, to get into all them pockets. I have no clue what this stuff is out here. Um, maybe it'll clean it up a little bit. It looks like a damn octopus. And if you scroll way in, you can see it need to scan for a little bit longer because the pixels just aren't all there. Yeah, zoom way out for it to look good. So let's go ahead and see what manual does. I don't want to, oh no, what's it doing? I guess it just did it manually. I didn't know if I clicked on that, it would uh, go through with it. I guess we'll just let it do its thing. This is live. So that processing went through. Is Cure done uploading? Okay, Cure is done uploading uh, to make it not look weird. I think it's because it's too tall. This isn't even my build plate. What? Why does it gotta look all pink? I'm not under prepare, am I? Oh, I'm not under. Why is it looking like that? Is it because it's not a solid object? No, let's flip it on its side. I don't know what. No, now it's gotta look like that. Okay, so it put that in there. And even with it looking like that, it will slice it. I shouldn't have put supports on there. It's going to take forever. And even though it got only half of it, it didn't even make the nozzle thing do its thing. I guess we're waiting on everything. We'll just sit here. There we go. One hour and 16 minutes. And let's see if it puts supports where it needed to be and all that. Uh, uh, I've never seen it look like that before. <laughs> um, normally it shows me the object it's printing. Is it going to print? Normally as you go up, it'll show me the, uh, the actual what it's printing. But it's... Who knows what it'll do, but hey, it put it out, says it'll take me 18 cents to print that. I don't think it's going to print any of it, but I think it's just doing the supports. It doesn't show it printing the device at all. So, take from that what you want. And we'll sit here and watch this, and then we will scan my face, which I don't think it did too bad on my face. Here, I'll show you guys my face. I actually uh, did it twice. But then when I went to print, it got really weird. So, okay. There's the first time I did my face. Um, I don't know where that print, or I clicked on it. Oh, it's not going to. Here, here's, I think it's loading. All right, here's my face the first time. I had glasses on. Really messed with it. Okay, don't load. Whatever. <laughs> Let's put that somewhere else. I don't know what we did with that. This, this, what's going on here, but it looks like it's going to take a long time. Oh, this looks awful. Mixed reality. No, no, no. Ha! <laughs> what the? All right, so that looks awful, but that was my face with my, my headset on. <laughs> uh, 
that yeah that looks bad we'll just do another scan this is gonna take forever so let's just cancel this i was actually looking up new scanners because i don't like this one i am going to be returning it it's definitely not worth it to me okay it does detect it right away that is nice i'm going to click on face just to make all you guys happy um, it doesn't do good with my glasses on, so I'm going to take my glasses off. That is one thing they tell you don't scan, like glasses, see-through objects. It's not it's not too good at that. Okay, now you guys get to see my ugly mug. And it's my birthday, so that's even better. Scanning me face on my birthday. You can see all the shit behind me. Just tightening up some of them screws. Too far. Too close? Good. What's the matter? Why isn't it? Yeah, weird shit. Okay. Here we go. It does not like getting my hair. Okay, so, I don't know if you guys noticed that, I tried to get my beard underneath, and every time I tried to adjust up like that, it just kept having problems tracking. I moved it, and then I moved my head, and neither way it liked it. And that's the first time ever it's got, gotten my, ha or my hair up top. I don't think it did awful. Like it did pretty good. You go in, there's a lot of pixels. Got my big old nose. So that ain't bad. And with software, you can cut this bottom part out. Sadly, it won't get my beard. I must have to shave my face or something. My mic even came in on this one. That was pretty weird. Um, I could have gotten all this, all this area if I would have just kept scanning. And we'll see how long it takes to process that I hope it did automatic now when I put that into cure it takes a long time like four minutes maybe and this file will also not go into Tinkercad or anywhere to that I have to edit but I do see people online that use Sabrebra or Serbia whatever that app is and they they edit it all but I'm just doing a review on the camera Okay, what do we got going on here? This still doesn't want to. Okay. So, based on what I just showed you guys, here's the scanner. <laughs> that ain't the scanner. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> that ain't the one I bought. There's the one. I'm going to put a link in the description below, but uh, here's the scanner I bought, and this is what I kind of got caught on, this video they show here. Look. They're showing you the app. She... Oh, 
show too much because they have their own thing on their YouTube too. But um, she shows her, I don't know what she's scanning the couch for, but she's scanning the couch with ease, just moving right along. Both videos show them using the app. Uh, this also caught my eye. She slid, they were sliding in their pocket, which I thought that there was like a cover, but where her finger is right now, it's on the lens. It's on this right here. Like there's nothing that protects that. So when they're like, oh, throw it in your pocket. Yeah, I thought it like collapsed up or something and it doesn't. And I have yet to get an app to work with it. And if you read this guy's thing, which just came out a couple of days ago, it does not work. And then if you go to YouTube, the very first video is, oh, where's it at? I just, maybe he's under my history now. I was trying to see if anybody else is having the same issues. Ferret, do not buy. You were lied to. <laughs> and then this is just a video that's just uh, never ending of people looking at the device for some reason. So hopefully this helps somebody out. I'm waiting for this to get done now. Ugh. I don't know why it does that with my eyes. One of my eyes, um, on my last one I made, I had like something hanging down from my eye. I was like, eyelid. I'm like, what is that? I'll let that go for a little bit while I go through here a little bit. Yeah, see, app. Where's the app? And on here it's shared. Maybe it don't say it on here. I was finding where it says that it doesn't support Apple products yet. Maybe it don't support anything. Did have to admit it was nice it came charged. I don't know what to do to kill time. All right, 30 minutes of making this video. Oh, there we go. Just, just great. What'd they do to me nose? Why'd they delete my headset? I got something messed up in the eye right there. So the preview actually looked better than when they cropped it. Well, it looks like me. So when it would print, it would look like this. I don't know if I'd really say that looks like me. It doesn't have enough nose hairs. Mm. Look at that, because that's what it's going to look like when it prints. Like, the eyes, man. Do I really want that to print looking like that? The whole eye got fucked up there. Look how nice that one is. and phew, Making me feel older than I am on my birthday. I don't know. Didn't good on my nose, I guess, other than some burger hanging down right there. And uh, that's about it on the video. I'm going to put this into Cure and show you guys how long it takes. Uh, but that's basically all that's left on this video. Show you it takes quite a while. There we go. I'm just going to let it do only this. <sighs> And then I'm going to box it back up and return it. I do see there's a lot of apps on your phone now that will scan devices or scan items. I keep calling them devices. They'll scan items for you. And they're free. Go ahead and start putting this stuff back in its box. I really don't care to even see this thing. So hopefully this helps somebody out. We're going on minute two yet. Remember, we did it with light in the dark. And what else do we do? With just normal light that's in the room. Traction distance. Why are you on that? We read the manual, we downloaded all the new software, which I guess I could show you guys that. Actually, I'll bring it up on the computer and then show you. Man, that bag smells awful. Oh, Creality Store. Oh, you know, it brings you right to the device. Oh, I don't want to see a picture of it. Jesus.
So at the time of making this video, they only have, oh, it loaded in. Um, just give me a second. So they only have the downloads. Okay, this is gonna look really messed up because it's too big for the printer. Vision was messing me up there. Let's turn it. For some reason, everybody wants to print their face. That's what it looks like. It doesn't. I think it's because I have my mesh tools on. That has to look like that instead of just being a color like that. Let's go ahead and let it do that while I still look up the website. And since I bought this, it's now cheaper. 29 bucks, 25 bucks. And then I went on their support and asked them where the tool was, or where the app was on the phone. And as soon as I got someone, like their little chat at the bottom right, um, it was like 4.15 in the afternoon on a Friday. And as soon as I got in chat with one of them, all of a sudden they were like, oh, sorry, no one's online. No one's... uh." We're all out right now, and I looked up their hours, and there was still like four hours before they closed, based on their internet advertising. Man, this is a neat. I'm doing something on the side here. Well, let's trying to show you the page for this, but it's not letting me. Okay, here, finally, Jesus. This is all six hours to print that. Must really print it. So this is the ferret. This is everything that they offer for it right now. One of these is the manual I was already showing you, and one is the manual that was in the unboxing video. Update on the 22nd, I guess. Didn't look much different. And then here's the software that we're using. That's right here. Uh, right now it only supports Windows, and then that was to support Android computers, I guess. There's nothing for Apple yet. And uh, nothing on here of how to download the app or anything either. Uh, the app that so far I can't find anywhere. And I looked up different names, looked up looked up everything. I even used apps that weren't Creality and it didn't come up. So, six hours to print my face. Hmm. Only took my mom nine months. Um, and it looks like it's only going to print them little pieces. That piece, that piece, that piece, that piece. Now I'm gonna print the face. I wonder if that's something to do with my mesh tools. Hold on. Can I like shut them off? I don't know how to run all that. <laughs> but it's just getting boring. So hopefully this helps somebody out. I'm sure somebody will be like, what the hell is that? You click this button, it does away with it. But it'll take six hours to print my nose. Oh, really, is that my nose? Is that just my nose it's printing? There. I'm going to point to that with my finger in it. Fuck it, Al. It's just my nose. So all this thing can do so with that, all that is print my nose. Hmm. Well, hopefully this helps somebody out. Thanks for watching. And uh, put comments in the below when it starts working right or if you figured stuff out. Like... I don't want any problems. I just want to scan it and it, it go right in. Um, I'm going to return it because right now it's just a, a brick of paperweight. Maybe the software will get updated and stuff as time goes on. Thanks for watching.